give our blessing after he does that, then we'll start a line and go through the food. Tonight's food, instead of Hudson's, I made a change. It's from PK Barbecue. We'll be going on Wednesday, so, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Pull the covers off and we'll get started. People's getting seconds here. <laughs> I thought it was real. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I I know. I know. Director for Fairfield 
on the airport and we bought the Crocker house. So we're both in aviation, we both fly, and we're just very, very happy to have our group. Tell us about you. Yeah, I'm sorry to uh, taking the transient parking spot <laughs> on the end. Uh, those of you that have... Uh, we can take care of that. Don't worry. <laughs> but uh, I'm the band director of Irmo High School. Uh, my mm -hmm. wife couldn't be here tonight. She's taking graduate classes on Tuesday nights. She's the children's director of St. Andrew's Presbyterian Church. So we work diagonally across the street from one another. Um, so live in downtown Lexington, right behind Lexington Middle School. So. Uh, this is uh, been a, a dream that is, is happening sooner than I had anticipated, um, but God's opened some amazing doors that have uh, uh, gotten me here. So glad to, glad to be here to meet you guys. And the not so good part, we had two deaths in our neighborhood this year, one being Eric and the other was Jan Cosmo. Uh, in talking to I forgot her name. The executor for the Cosby Estate. She's going to notify me, and they're going to have a memorial service for both her and Jim. Jim didn't want anything, but she said, "The hell with it." <laughs> so as soon as that happens, I'll let everybody know that we're going to do that. Ken, Peg, thank you for again for letting us use the Mike Moore and crew, Dennis Ramsey and everybody, thank you all for setting up tables and chairs and all the good stuff so that we got a place to be. When, when we started the year, we had a couple of things that we put on our... I thought he's fine. I thought he's fine. Before the distraction, we had a couple of things that we wanted to get accomplished this year. Uh, this is just a few of the things that, that we did. Uh, you may have noticed that we've got brand new shiny bright signs on the airport. Uh, we found a place to do signs at a reasonable cost, and Mike and Corey have been installing them for us, so all but two now are installed, so we've got Highly reflective, blind you at night signs, <laughs> signage for both the runway and the taxiway and, and, and the roadways around through there. The other thing that got accomplished this year, which was a major, major cost savings for us, under Dennis Ramsey's management and tutelage and everything else, he was hurting cats. We, <laughs> we sealed almost, give or take a little, 70,000 feet of cracks with the crack ceiling team and everybody knows who was doing it, okay, because it was multiple weeks and multiple effort from everybody out here. Last time that we did this and we paid somebody, we paid a buck a foot for it. So go do the math and you'll see how much money that we saved. Ongoing thing, uh, Ray Ackerman's uh, got a gentleman that he's been working with that we've been keeping our fence in a good state of repair other than when people drive through it. <laughs> so, he so, likes it though. Yeah, well he likes it, yeah. Uh, so does Mike. Where's Mike at? Mike likes it too, right? <laughs> so, our... our Mexico. Say again? Viva La Mexico. Si, <laughs> senor! So our fence is in pretty good shape, that's just an ongoing maintenance thing that we've been doing. Uh, Mike Moore has sort of been ramrodding mowing and beautification and everything, riding herd over Wesley and keeping him honest and everything. You may have noticed Wesley was out here today. He's got a machine with a bush hog on the end of it. If you remember, come spring, we're always down here cutting the bushes on the side of the bank and everything with our chainsaw and stuff and trying to kill ourselves. Well, Wesley did that today with his little bush hog apparatus. 
So we don't have to worry about that, worry about killing ourselves come spring doing that. So it's cleaned all the brush off the side of the road and down the hill of the lot, and it trimmed up some of the limbs. So we're good for, for limbs and everything, for airplanes that go passing by the area. And of course, all of our projects and everything that we do, whenever the call is put out, we always have a good crowd of people that volunteer to help no matter what it is, whether it's whether it's doing crack sealing, uh, cutting weeds and doing this and that, helping somebody move something or do something. So we've got a really great group of people here that are willing to throw in and help somebody at a moment's notice. And, and I greatly appreciate it, and the neighborhood looks great because of it. Oh, I have my official, official, official paperwork from the accounting firm of Larry Ross Incorporated. As you know, we put, set out a ballot in the middle of December for votes. We had two seats available on the board. Uh, Ray was rolling off, and Jason. Garrison. Garrison. Garrison, yeah, was rolling off. Uh, Jason's not eligible anymore since they sold their property and moved out, and Ray didn't, couldn't get enough of it, so he threw his name back in the hat. <laughs> <laughs> so so we, had, we had our ballots in our election, and our two new board members are Brother Ackerman and Patrick Hoffman. So. <laughs> We have great expectations, at least out of this one. This one, <laughs> this one we know what we're getting already. Uh, Corey's going to give us a financial report and budget overview, so I'll let him do that now. Okay. <coughs> All right, the fun stuff. Let's go over the financial health of White Plains. Um, to date, our taxes are paid in full, which is good. We have no outstanding debt other than the normal operating costs that are ongoing. And just uh, some points of interest going down the budget. I know everybody, we sent all these out with the HOA dues, so everybody had a copy of this, right? Mm -hmm. So you all went through it and you all looked at it, so yes. I'm not going to tell you anything. Studied it in depth. Yes. Good, so I'm not going to tell you anything new except for maybe a couple things, so I won't make it all that boring. Um, our checking account, um, we're pretty healthy right now in the, in the uh, HOA fund. We're at, as of December, we're at 21000 and our fund B aviation, we're at twenty six. And the reason for that and not being, and you'll notice you don't see any deposits into the savings, um, at the very bottom of our budget, you'll see that we are going to get these roads sealed. We're going to get the taxiway sealed. So we haven't put anything into the savings as of yet. Now, that's not to say that that won't happen towards the end of the year after we get through all this. Um, I'm, I'm shooting for that to get some, some money back into that savings, so I think that's a possibility. Um, and then talking about the savings, today Ray and Mike and I had a meeting with uh, BB&T um, Investment and we're going to take our savings and we're going to put it into CDs. And let me tell you why we're going to do that because I don't know that anybody's in here that's okay with three tenths of one percent on our money. So we're going to take this money and we're going to stagger these CDs and keep them throughout the year and get at least, at least two and a half percent. Okay, and that's why when you get down to this budget item, you see that I have interest income of eight hundred and eighteen hundred instead of one hundred and one hundred eighty-five. That's a little bit aggressive. I, I'm hoping we hit that, but we're going to try and get some some savings going here where it's going to work for us. Okay, and then um, also, oh, I already did it. Uh, yeah, on the savings, the CDs, we were going to do one year, five year, but the bank has told us to kind of keep it like into like the month, into a quarter, because that way we're not shooting ourselves in the foot and holding up interest rates where we could get better interest rates. So anyway, I don't want to hit that too much. Um, the 2018 expenses, um, going down there, one of the, the big expenses that we had that we didn't have the year before that went over a little bit was the legal counsel professional services. Um, in the past years, what we've been doing is all this 
information, all the, the budget has been going on everybody's PCs, who's ever been the tax or the uh, treasury. So what we did is we went out, we got a HOA laptop. So all the finances are on here. So someday, I know I won't be a treasurer, it'll be on here and I can hand it to somebody. Oh, no, 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 this is a... <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's where that expense was and we had some service to help us get started and get the um, get things in this PC where at the end of the year, instead of me handing something like this out, I can actually do a, a balance sheet for the profit and loss. And I can do that throughout the year, any time of the year, so I know we know exactly we got our, we have our finger on the pulse of the finances of this community. And that's how, that's how we're going to keep going forward on this. We've got a lot of things that we want to do going down the road in 15 years. And I don't see any reason why we can't take what we have and start investing and get this into the investments. Okay? So that was one thing. The other things are pretty much all the normal. We have all of our normal operating costs as far as the mower, mowing. Um, uh, yeah, all that is... It's all pretty normal. We carried that over to the 2019 budget. Some of the things in 2019, we actually cut it back a little bit. Maybe we don't need all that. So it's it's aggressive, but hopefully, you know, we're going to come through with this. We did add a little bit to the electricity um, and a little bit to the landscaping too, because of everything that's going on. Um, street runway taxi, the ceiling, that was a big budget item. I know if everybody saw this. You look at that bottom line and you're like, holy cow. But what this is going to do is we're going to get this done and then this is going to ensure that the next 10, maybe 15 years, we're going to preserve what we have here without dumping, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars in it at this point. And we've had two experts, and Mike can also confirm that, have told us that this stuff is in good shape if we take care of it. And crack ceiling and ceiling, this is what's going to carry us in the future. Okay. Is there any questions on the budget at all? Anything that glaring that you might have an explanation on? Good job, Paul. I just want to thank you for your accuracy and the clean set of books that you've done for us. <laughs>
Gilbert Water is going to continue that 8 inch water line and I've already talked to them about putting a fire hydrant at phase 1 <coughs> entrance and the service entrance but they're going to continue that 8 inch water line all the way up to the Gilbert Water line on number 1 where the housing project is. So instead of having water only coming one way and stopping here, it'll be able to do a loop. So they shut something off when you get water either coming this way or coming that way. And that's the surveyor's uh, marks that they're using for surveying the route. So nothing else, we need to Yes, ma'am. I, I, I would just like to everybody to know the hard work that Cecilia and her crew did for the gazebo. Yep. It was decorated. But then what you guys don't know is what they went and did after Christmas. There was a lot of uh, cleanup as far as the shrubbery. So I think Cecilia and her crew should stand up and we need to give them a round of applause. Yeah.
two, one. Two, three, 